This is so impromptu. I already did a um, pick a card earlier. I did a video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Sharia. I'm an intuitive messenger. This is um, my first time doing a mukbang by myself. That's actually, that'll be posted to YouTube. I'm halfway through with my food, but I just decided. I said, oh, let me turn the camera on. So I'm back home in South Carolina. I keep looking here because I usually have the camera flip this way, but today is there. Or right now is there. I'm eating Zaxby's. For those of you down south, you know what Zaxby's is. For those of you in LA, you may or may not know. But Zaxby's is um so good. It's a chicken restaurant, similar to Raisin Cane's. I prefer Zaxby's. So when I come home, I get to have my Zaxby's. Now, I really need to cut back on meat and chicken and stuff. I really need to figure that out. Maybe if you guys are watching, have some tips, you can leave them in the comments below because... Ideally, I would like to eat vegan, vegetarian, primarily vegan, um, at least four or five days out of the week. And I know I can do it. I mean, I've done it several times. I've gone weeks with, you know, no meat. Um, I've done raw vegan. I've done juice, you know, juice cleanses where I'm only eating smoothies or drinking smoothies. Um health is wealth and veganism has always been a goal it's always been something i i eat vegan throughout the week but i want it i need to do it more and coming back home is always difficult because i'm back home with all the good food because i mean let's face it you live in la you know and you if you live in la and you're from the south you know the food is even if you're from up north you know the food in on the west coast is a little different um it's just not same flavors hi mom would you like to say hey to the camera no but um i had to say one of your senses your brother wrote what come back home right if you watch my pickle card you'll see that i said excuse the children for interrupting me Ain't no peace. So my brother had to do his homework, which is why he was so quiet in the beginning of my pickle card. And apparently he did something crazy. I didn't check the homework. So my mama checked it. What? <laughs> I would not tell everybody about the same thing. She don't want to see it because I'm recording. Let me see. <laughs> These kids. I didn't even think to check the homework. I forgot because I was busy. Recording and I'm trying to work on this real estate goal while I'm here in South Carolina for a bit. So I've been over here with my little notepad and my little cards and my pencil and my water and my pen. I forgot all about checking his homework. <sighs> I'm not the parent. So my grandmother, I'm here in South Carolina. I left LA because my grandmother is sick. She's been in the hospital for about a month. She just had both of her legs cut off. It's been a lot. It's been very overwhelming for my mom. And my family is, um, you know, supportive. But I needed to come home and do my part. So, I'll be here for a while. A few more weeks. So, what I got is the fries. This sandwich really is, um, it don't even look that good. Look, and a grilled chicken sandwich. Um, usually look better than that. I don't know if they gave me something old, but all the more reason why I shouldn't be eating it anyway. And actually, when I finish this video, I'm going to write down some food choices and changes that I can start to incorporate now. Because it's so hard to eat clean when I come home. I just cooked macaroni and cheese. Somebody write me on Instagram. I just put back on and cheese on Sunday. My mama. You gonna make the mac? 
Oh Lord, here we go, y'all. Don't you tell nobody what they say. The last one. <gasps> oh give my me, God! Give me the notebook. Oh my God! Please, can I say? <laughs> no, you can't tell everybody. They ain't gonna know. Oh no, my God. do not tell it. Girl. Oh uh, my God. I need to post that on the shade room. You better not post this nowhere. Ma, you need to post that online. I'm finna send this to his Ma, name. Ma, you post that online, we're going viral. <laughs> And my videos going up, everything. Yeah, Lou's gonna kill you right along with <laughs> it. Y'all will not believe with this child. Don't even entice him because y'all not gonna know. She ain't gonna let me tell y'all. Lord, I, I wish I could tell y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> Send this right to him. Oh my God. <laughs> now, if I was too tired to even look at his homework. Oh my God. And I'd be checking his homework. I help him with his homework, but I was. Doing my videos and stuff. I forgot all about checking it. And my mom be tired. If she would have went there and went to bed. <laughs> the authorities would have been called on us. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Or nuts. Oh my god, I cannot even believe it. I'm so mad she won't let me tell y'all. But it's shade room worthy. It's a shade room worthy post. Who writes sentences with his words, his spelling words? He came in here, he said, How you spell sock? I told him how to spell sock. I didn't think no more about it. This child. <laughs> these kids so different these days, man. I'm glad he learned how to formulate sentences and things of that nature. He has to now learn what's appropriate and not appropriate to write for school. I'm under the table. What was I even saying? I don't even know. This sandwich has sloppy. All the more reason why I don't need it. I probably was saying that. And I'm trying to um, think about some things that I could change. Because typically in the mornings, I kind of been skipping breakfast, honestly. But in L.A., in the mornings, I typically have a smoothie. I make a smoothie. If I feel like it, I'll stop and get a celery juice. Um, or I might have oats. Or I might have um, some type of vegan breakfast. Sometimes I do like a toast and um, peanut butter, banana toast with a little cinnamon. Sometimes I do drizzle honey, so that's not completely vegan, but um, whatever. So I need to start doing that. I need to go to the store. I need to get all my, my, my fruits and vegetables so that I can make my smoothies in the morning. Because when you have it, like, this is the thing about eating healthy, y'all. If you go in your refrigerator right now and you completely throw out everything that's unhealthy, what else you going to eat? Like, you need to go out to the store and then buy what you need and then you have it. Where there's no excuse. So, when it's time to eat, your options are already qualified. It's already healthy, you know? So, it makes the transition easier. So, I do need to go to the grocery store and grocery shop for myself. But I know when I start making my smoothies and stuff, the kids going to want them. Even though when I'm not home, they'll be thinking about no smoothies. Um, and then I need to start thinking about, like, lunch options. What I can what I can do. Some type of veggie wraps or something. I don't know. South Carolina, like, it's so different from L.A. in terms of even the grocery store. Like, even in terms of, like... I don't know, like places where you can get something that's dairy free. It's just not a lot of options. Like, it's everywhere in LA. But here is now. I was so surprised. I went to the grocery store the other day and they actually had oat milk here in South Carolina. I couldn't even believe they had it because they're just not. Um, it's not a lot of vegans and vegetarians here. So, it's not a lot of options in that category. I could not believe they had oat milk. So, I guess there's some sort of improvement going on in that area. Um, so, I do have my oat milk. But the cereal choices that my mom has is um, 
sugar. That's all it is, sugar. <laughs> Fruit loops. Pops. <laughs> Get What the hell? What is, what's your spell word is? It's my... I got a lot of spell words, Dad. Is it? Change it when you get home, baby. It's my dad mean you tall, Dad. Oh, that's what he said. That's his understanding. Oh. Oh. I guess. That's what we get. I'm embarrassed and it ain't even happened. He ain't go to school. He ain't going Teacher won't ever see it, but I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Where you going? Where you going? I don't mind being home. I've been alone all day. Peaceful. Just about all day. I was supposed to go to the hospital with my grandma. I really should have because she liked to see my face there. I don't know what kind of comfort I provide her when she in pain, but she just squeeze on my hand, honey. <laughs> and she had, if you know anything about people who had any limbs cut off, they experience phantom pain, which is the brain perceiving that the limb is still there. And so the pain is still there in that limb. So there's nothing there at the bottom, but she still feel the pain and the itching and horrible pain. So she literally had me rubbing nothing. Like, I'm just rubbing a pillow, basically. And she can feel it as if the leg or the foot was still there. Um, What else can we talk about on this month? How long have I been on her? Oh, 12 minutes. That ain't long. Um... Coronavirus. Do we want to talk about that? Not really, but people been going crazy. And I just um, was on Instagram and... Oh, let me tell y'all this. You can't buy no good sweet tea in California. What well, LA. You got to go to Chick-fil-A to get some sweet tea. It's probably about the only place you can really get some. I have been drinking sweet tea nonstop, which is such a bad idea. But it's been so good. Everywhere I go, I get a sweet tea. It's like life changing. You've been in LA all your life and you ain't never had a good cup of sweet tea, baby. Please just get on a plane. Just get on a plane. But I've been home for a week. So I'm, I'm going to clean it up. I've been kind of enjoying macaroni and cheese. I even had some fried chicken one day. I don't even eat fried chicken just in general. Like, I don't really care for it anymore ever since. Probably like sophomore, junior year in college. I had some fried chicken. Now. That's the jazz. And you were really showing out. Anyway, coronavirus. I was telling my uncle yesterday, like, there's really nothing to fear. Like, stop panicking because, like the flu. But then I just read something on Elizabeth Gilbert's. I think it was Elizabeth Gilbert. Somebody's post, and they were saying, don't judge people who fear it. Don't judge people who don't fear it. Just show compassion because the reality is it has affected a lot of people. A lot of people have lost their lives. Regardless of if it's the same number as the flu or not, it has affected some people on some level. So can we just show compassion on either end of the spectrum? I said, that's real talk. So I encourage you guys to do that. No matter how you feel about it, can we be compassionate about those who are in fear? Because what she was saying in the post is that some people are overreacting, some people are underreacting. But the people who are overreacting are operating from fear. And fear is a real thing. We fear different things. Everybody's fear is not the same. It doesn't look alike. 
But we can all understand and acknowledge fear because we've all feared something. So therefore, because we've all experienced some sort of fear, then we can then show compassion. I said, she right. <laughs> And just because you may not be afraid doesn't mean you should not protect yourself. You should still be washing your hands. Um, especially because we've been, my family, we've been in and out of the hospital a lot. So, you know, sometimes we'll have on a mask or whatnot. Um, sanitize and wash our hands all day long, especially around my grandma. Um, so you still want to be precautious. You still want to protect yourself. No matter what end of the spectrum you find yourself on about your feelings and thoughts about it. Um, this ragged sandwich. I can't believe it. Like, I was so looking forward to it. And this is what y'all give me? I've been gone. I don't know how long. I actually haven't been gone that long this time because I came home for Christmas. But when I came home for Christmas... Oh, one of those times I came home, I had Zaxby's, and it didn't taste the same. And I was like, uh-uh. It was, like, very, very salty. That's another thing. When I come home, I taste the salt so much. Like, are y'all just putting pounds of salt in the food out here? Because it's ridiculous. People be like, oh, this is so good. Jazz, try it. Jazz, try it. I try it. I, I need 16 ounces of water. So I said I wasn't going to, um, like, when I came home this time, I said I wasn't going to, like, rush to Zaxby's because I knew it probably would be salty. But this is not that salty, but, um, well, I'm sure it has a lot of salt in it, but I don't taste the heaviness of the salt. But it's so sloppy, like it's not well put together. That's what I get. <laughs> I was thinking, too. Maybe I should open up like some type of juice bar here. Like, there's definitely a void here in terms of healthy options. Maybe I should do that, but my fault. I, so many things I'm trying to accomplish and do. Like, wait a minute, Jasmine. That's step one. We're trying to focus on real estate. My passion has always been acting. And I do the videos, I do my pick of cards, my spiritual healing. Like, let's reel it in, hone in our focus. But eventually, maybe, that's an idea. It's just that if I'm going to be back in L.A., who going to run the business? <laughs> Never mind me. I'm trying not to waste that because When I earlier today, when I finished my reading, my video, my pick a card, my sister been begging me. My sister is 15, begging me to do a reading for her past few days. And I keep saying, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. So today, I already had my cards out because I was recording my video. So when she came home from school, I was like, come home, girl. Dang, sit down. And then my stepsister. This was her first time ever asking me. I think she's 13. So I did a reading for them. Both of their readings were very similar. And um, it was very interesting because it did get emotional. One of them I almost cried. And I didn't want their reading to be deep. I mean, they're ch children, you know. But when the reading resonates, it resonates. And when it starts to hit certain buttons and, you know, and you left to deal with that emotion. So I want to need to make sure they're okay when they come back home. Um, but if you guys are interested in a, in a reading, all of my offerings, um, different offerings, different types of readings will be below. Most of my readings are primarily sent via video. I do have one Skype or phone session if you're interested in that level of a reading. Um, but most of them are video and um, you can get all that information below. What else do you want to talk about, Jasmine? I don't know. This is my first mukbang by myself. 
that will go up on my channel. This was trying it out, spur of the moment. Let's, um, because I'm about done eating. How about we pull a card? I ain't gonna pull a card from that deep deck, because let's pull an oracle. One the oracle, just to top it off, top off the mukbang. That's the best part of the sandwich. All the chicken gone, and it's just tomatoes and lettuce and um, honey mustard. It's good, I'm telling you. That means all these napkins. Got my Cheeto shirt on. Every time I wear this shirt, I get so many compliments. People love this shirt. I was a brand ambassador for Cheetos in Atlanta when I lived in Atlanta for an event. And this comfortable t-shirt, I like it. Wow, I'm still wearing it. That was probably 2015, 2016. Early 2016. I moved to LA late 2016. Maybe if I do another book, maybe we'll talk about my stays in different states and the differences in the states. Maybe some tips for different states. I lived in South Carolina. That's where I'm from. I've lived in um, Virginia, right outside of Washington. If you want to see. Yeah, you can say I lived in Virginia. Texas. Um, Houston. Can't really count it as I lived there so somewhat lived there for a month didn't work out i tried to move to new york that didn't work out and and i moved back to atlanta oh did i skip atlanta i lived in atlanta and um I moved back to atlanta and then i moved to california so maybe one day another mukbang we could talk about that all right card of the mukbang maybe every mukbang i'll pull a card affirmations to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire use positive affirmations somebody is working on something much like myself or somebody's trying to work their way out of a situation you're trying to figure out which way is the north star <laughs> I say that because I see the star in the car so you're looking for some sort of guidance or pathway the guidance and the path though the answers, though, are already inside of you when you're operating from your true self. In order to connect with your true self, you need to speak truly. So you need to affirm the truth. Because a lot of times we speak out of fear. We speak um, based on a lie. A lie that we were told or a lie that we've accepted about ourselves as truth. So we have to clear that. We have to change what we're speaking, but not just verbally. Well, not just like mentally, but verbally. Speak it out loud, a new thing. So whatever this thing is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever this feeling that you would like to cultivate, this um, energy that you would like to manifest into your life, you need to start to speak it and affirm it. It says to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. So you can write down, I say two. That's what I'm feeling right now. Write down two affirmations. If you don't know what an affirmation is, it's just a, a small phrase that you can repeat. So, literally, as simple as, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Put a sticky note on your mirror in the mornings. You got to wake up, wash your face, brush your teeth, right? Or you can put a reminder on your phone. That way, every day you see it and you say it. And you go on about your day. So, I encourage you to do something to that nature. I am enough. Um, I am open to infinite sources of abundance. I am open to love. I am love. Pick it. Take what you will. Create your own. You can do it. And I say repeat it in the morning for sure. Um, and then throughout the day as needed. You can set um, a limit or... Uh, a time that you want to do it. Wait. 
You can do 30 days or you can do a week or whatever you want to do. Choice is yours. Let me go get the door and let me close out of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next video. You just not done? No, I was doing it.